Oh, hey, good morning. John Lee here. Just having my morning coffee. And so I thought I'd share with you my morning routine. So I was watching this YouTube video and a light went off. I saw a guy that with the title Quitting the Rat Race and the American Dream. And it really struck a nerve with me and hit a chord. And so I kind of wanted to make this video and talk about that a little bit. The constant grind in this American dream and vision and the rat race of paying bills and needing to keep up with the Joneses. And, you know, I'm really torn. I've, I've always been really torn with growing up in poverty. And so I knew I didn't want that kind of life. You know, we were raised to believe, you know, the way out of poverty is through a better education. Uh, but when you, everybody is always trying to, you know, level up. Everybody's trying to do better for their children, better for their families. Um, but at what point, you know, do we reflect and see, is this really where we want to be? Is this where we're happy with our family, with our lives? And every day, so I'm over 40 now. Woohoo. So, uh, you know, I'm reflecting on my 30s. You can't even have these types of reflections until you actually, you know, get to these ages or these points of your life. And, you know, am I happy with the rat race? Is it, you know, what I think is in the best interest of my family, our children, myself, or our society? And... I really want to quit this rat race so bad. I really, really do. And I know I have uh, been working on, you know, some skill set uh, advantages that would allow me uh, to do that. But just our whole lives, we're taught to get in this grind and this rat race of, you know, having to pay bills so that you can, you know, have good credit and then you can have more debt. And, and the video was talking about this, you know, the, the massive debts that that we accumulate like a home mortgage or, you know, the nice cars and the nice everything. And I don't really need that. I would like to have a little bit of room, but I think what matters most is, uh, you know, our children having learning experiences, not just learning, uh, standardized testing for me. That's, that's, you know, and that's only a little bit of it. Like are our children, being programmed to do the rat race is the rat race you know what is the rat race and it's school from the time you're little it's parents not being able to it's both parents having to work to only barely get by to not get the opportunity to raise their children or spend quality experience meaningful time with their children and so i'm seeing a lot of parents working they're not spending time with their kids. The kids are off at daycare or with somebody else. And as they get a little bit older, so from the time they're little, they're just programmed. We all are, and we all were, because we all think that this is what we're supposed to have, and this is what happiness looks like, and this is what you know we're supposed to do. But I'm realizing the more in life that I have chosen to do what makes me happy, the less it fits in to the idea of what everybody else thinks I should be doing. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. And that's what this guy in this YouTube video was talking about. And I really related to that because I haven't been mainstream. I'm very idiosyncratic. I really like to kind of, you know, just do my own thing. And a lot of times people have, you know, really odd policies and they don't mesh well with, you know, my inner core values and so you know I really struggle with that and I have struggled with that and my core values tell me that I don't think that the rat, rat race is worth it I don't think that the American dream is really uh, what people think it is I think that it's implied that you're going to be happy and I don't think that the American dream really is what we think it should be I think it's what we think it should be, but the rat race is what prevents us from actually being happy and obtaining that happiness in order to 
have that American dream. And so I really feel like I'm ready to quit the American dream. I feel like I've already quit it. When I decided not to work for other people, that at least got me, you know, the mindset of, hey, do, you know, follow your, think for yourself, follow your own heart. We have grown children and now we have a, a, a two-year-old and we have 10 and 11 year old girls. And so I'm wanting us to all have the best life possible. We've all not had the best rat race. And so, you know, I just want to eliminate the rat race altogether for me, my family, my community, for everybody. And I, I, that may not be possible. It may be something that takes a rat race to actually get me and my family where we want to be. But my goal now is, you know, looking to where I'm going next, you know, we bought new vehicles, we bought a new house, not a new house, but for us it was new. But, you know, we got the mortgage, we got the better life, but I'm constantly trying to grind. And, the, you know, the only steady thing that I've found locks me in from eight to five, Monday to Friday, and our kids are at school or with at daycare, and mom and I both have to work and, you know, we miss each other, we miss our kids, we're not doing things together, we barely have time. And that just seems to me to be, you know, really ridiculous. I've never been outside the country. I know there's a world out there. Uh, I would love to be able to see it and enjoy it and share that and those experiences with our children. And I do want our children to know that there's more to life than this rat race. I want them to be able to think for themselves but all children, not just our children. You know, I want our country to start really thinking about, we only have a limited amount of time here and we really need to enjoy it. And I understand that, you know, that's the thing about our grandparents and grandparents' grandparents, you know, and the history of mankind has been hard. And it's not that hard now and it doesn't have to be that hard. We're choosing to, to make the rat race. We program the rat race to be what it is and so don't let yourself just get sucked into this rat race but anyways it, I'm kind of rambling but ultimately the message is I want to quit the rat race and I don't think the American dream and the rat race and happiness all go together I really don't I believe in hard work and I believe in family and I believe in you know doing things that bring people together and what I've seen is the rat race and the American dream actually have turned into dividing us all to where we're all split up into our separate work zones and our cubicles and we're all individually we're being torn apart and programmed individually to have this American dream of you know basically just being workers work 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 and, you know, the older you get, you realize there's nothing wrong with hard work and everybody's got to put in their time. But is that for you? Is that for everybody? And is that really the best idea? I mean, why are we still doing this 40, 50 year working so that we can save up to pay off these big debts just so we can enjoy a little bit of the last part of our life? Why aren't we use, utilizing all the technology and advances in modern civilization to just live happier lives and find a way to work hard that brings our families together and gives us more worldly experiences and teaches us, you know, what's really most important, which is love and family. Because what I'm seeing isn't really a rat race connecting the American dream to happiness and love and family. I'm John Lee. If you like videos like these, smash that like and subscribe button for me. But this is my goal. I want to quit the rat race and recreate the American dream. I'm on to the next one. I mean, what do you think? Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Am I crazy? If crazy is spending more quality time with my family and my friends and my community, I think I'd rather be crazy.